So my man Mikey, you got a website that is just blowing up. Talk to me about why you started it and, and, and tell everybody about the name of it. Okay, well, the name of my website is Hey Mikey ATL. That's H-E-Y-M-I-K-E-Y-A-T-L. And pretty much I started this because I was looking at a lot of the blogs that I was reading and the writing was crap. Um, it was more people basing their opinions, telling you what they think, and not really telling you what's going on. Um, me being a writer and being in the media field for so long, I was just like, you know what, I can be doing this. I was already the editor for Control, I'm um, sorry, I was already the online editor for Control Magazine. Um, and it just made sense to move forward with it. A friend of mine, she was into blogging, she read a lot of my blogs that were on there, and she really convinced me to take the right step forward. Hey Venus. <laughs> So now, um, with your website, talk to me. Um, talk to some people because somebody may want to start a website. Talk to me about the ups and the downs because we don't we don't always want to talk about the downs. We don't always want to talk about the ups. We never want to talk about the downs. Of it. Okay. Well, I like to start everything off on a positive note. So mm -hmm. the ups of having your own website and being inside and being in the media pretty much is um, I like the perks. Um, people are always sending me um, gifts, um, different products to review. They're inviting me to screenings. I get to go to a lot of different events. Um, I get to meet a lot of different people, talk to a lot of different people, meet a lot of different writers. You know, in Atlanta, it's a small network, but it's a big network too when you use it the right way. Um, the downside of it is, well, nothing worthwhile is ever easy, and you have to put a lot of work into um, building a brand, building a website. So mm -hmm. I like to think of it as work after work. When I leave my main job, I'm right on my computer, checking this out, checking that out, checking stats throughout the day, making sure my writers serve their stories up, setting up this interview, reaching out to this person, reaching out to that client, going to this event. So it's, it's work and play, a uh, nice little mix. Okay, what do you see, if you could envision, what do you see for your website in, let's say, the next five years? I see myself being um, the number one blog website in the country. Um, Above Perez Hilton, above Love B. Scott, above YBF, um, above the Jasmine brand. Uh, that's my dream. That's what I want. I'm going for it. I definitely give out props and shouts to the people who I just um, after mentioned. They inspired me, and I'm still finding inspiration from them. So I got big dreams. Okay, there may be somebody like a young teen guy who says, you know what? Um, I'm scared. I'm nervous about starting this because people talk to me. But you know, I saw Hey Mikey's website. You know what? I want to start that. Um, talk to that. Talk to that young guy right now and just tell them why they should follow their dreams. You should follow your dreams because fear is paralyzing. And if you don't face your fear and slay your demons, you'll always be stuck inside of a box. And you never want to be somebody inside of a box. You should always be the person where they can check here, they can check there, they can check there, they can check there. And they still won't be able to accomplish all that you are. So never be afraid to do what it is you want to do. Be who you are. Okay. Um, talk to me about your experiences um, working as an online editor of Control Magazine. Um, it's been very, very rewarding. It's been very taxing and demanding at the same time, too. Um, Control is a very busy website, um, and it's a very big publication here in Atlanta. Um, not only do I do the online editing for it, I'm also the writer and the copy editor for it. So I find myself balancing stuff between my site, um, my personal life, and control. Um, one of the things about being the online editor is I'm probably responsible for all those dozens of stories that you see going up every single day. Editing them, making sure the tags are there, um, making sure the hyperlinks are there. We got proper pictures, people are being photo credited, um, things look right. When you come to my site or you come to control site, that's a reflection of me. So, that is, it's my baby. That's, that's what it's like. It's like being a parent. Okay. Um, what are some future projects um, maybe that people might not know about that you got going on? Well, um, I have a book coming out. It's called The Perfect Twisted Story about a talk show host living a double life. Um, I loosely base it off me and some of my friends' misadventures. Um, I also will be hosting an event next month. Um, the AAMAs, I believe it's called. I'm sorry. Uh, but pretty much it's um, a prestigious event going on here in Atlanta where authors, bloggers, and writers are getting together to um, honor people inside the community who have really been stepping it up with their work. Okay, before we leave, make sure you hit everybody with all your social media sites so they can follow you on everything. Okay, my social media sites are very simple. I am at Hey Mikey ATL, that's H E Y M I K E Y A T L on Instagram and Twitter. And you can find me on Facebook as Michael Dark Avenger Fanning. Yes, I am a black nerd, I do love my comic books. 
Um, and even on Pinterest, I'm at HeyMikeyATL. So it's that simple. So reach out, holler at me. Oh, if you ever got a story or some tips that you want to send to me, you can send them to my email address. That's HeyMikeyATL at gmail.com. Just think of me as like a black male gossip girl. Okay, so I love that. I love positivity. So let's end this interview with um, give me a positive quote. Uh, any positive quote you want. A positive quote. Okay. Um, it's what you do with what you have that makes you who you are. Um, the circumstances of your birth do not dictate your life. So whatever you have that's around you, you want to become something with it. Fight. Use those tools, tooth and nail, to become the person that you're really meant to be.